Hello. Today we're going to make a word art trading card embellishment. Okay. And I'm calling it that because this is an art trading card size. So that's two and a half by three and a half inches. Okay. These two strips that I'm going to put on here are three and a half inches by half an inch wide. This square is two and a half by two and a half. So it's the same size as the trading card. I just cut it, I just cut the extra piece off of it. Okay. And because this is two and a half and two by two and a half, then I went down two and a quarter by two and a quarter to do this piece. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue this together. I think this will be really pretty. And it's nice and bright and cheerful. Okay, there, and we need the pick wrappers. Perfect. I just want to leave a little border here on the outside, and we can do the same thing on the other side. Even that little bit of a border. That's so pretty. All right, and then we can glue these two together. All righty, and we can do this. And I'm using Aileen's Tacky Glue, so you don't need very much. You just need a little bit to get on there, and it'll stay. All right, that's really pretty. And then that can get on there like that. Ta-da! All right, so first let me trim these little edges off because they are hanging off a little bit. And this says cootie. <laughs> and the reason it says cootie is because my grandchildren, these are leftover idea cards. When my grandchildren were real little, then I took cardstock and I cut it up in trading card size and I wrote down on the back of each piece an idea. So when they say, what can we do on board? What can I do on board? Then I'd say, go pick an idea. And so they'd look through the cards and they could choose. And I had all kinds of things. This was for the cootie game. We had read books. Um, we had makeup stories. We had puzzles, Legos. Any game that we had in the house was written on these cards. And any type of arts and craft or whatever was on there, then they were on these cards. So, and they loved it. They thought that was so much fun. And boy, did that save my mind. <laughs> Having the three little ones saying, we're bored, what can we do? And we used those cards quite a bit. They were definitely a lifesaver. And it was cute too, because as they got older, they wanted to see how many cards they could get done. How many things could they do? And that was a lot of fun. All right, so I'm thinking of doing this guy. I think that'll be adorable. And I'm wondering if I wanna, no, I think I do wanna just glue that down. Yeah. Oh, this is the Racco game. <laughs> Have you ever played Racco? That is a fun game to play. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put glue right across the middle here. And I put a dot of glue up and a dot of glue down because going across the middle, we don't want the glue on the top and bottom of this, of these triangles. So I just put the glue there instead. Alrighty, let's move this in the middle and that will make my life easier lining this up. There. Ta-da! All right, so we've got that on. Very good. So now we've got to color this to match and this. So, and I do have this green, which looks pretty darn close. And let's see, how about this pretty orangey red? That looks pretty. And then let's do the blue. Ooh, this blue. Oh yes, okay. So we're gonna do the owl, these three colors. Even though that's not the color of owls, but that's okay. We're gonna do red for the beak. Alrighty, and for the little leggies. That's cute. And for the inside of the ear. Okay, then we can put that one back in there. And then we can do, ooh, 
Let's make them have green eyes. That's gonna be so, so pretty. Alrighty. And we could do the little chest green, why not? And these are called Crayola Twistables. I love using these. They're very, very soft, so they color very nicely and they're so, so easy to blend. And they shade very nicely. So I usually try to color, go in one direction and then I go back and shade, go in the opposite direction. And that really works well with these. I like that. All right, I'm thinking maybe the top of his ears too. Yep, let's do that. And go back and color it in better there and then anywhere I want it to be darker I can do it the opposite direction in this hair up here of course all right that's nice and the rest is gonna be blue alrighty righty that's gonna be pretty and look at how that's matching already isn't that pretty I know you're not used to watching me color, huh? I usually try to avoid coloring, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, the blue really shows off the, the shadows that I'm drawing. Yep, that looks nice. That's really cute. All right, now let's do this side. This little wing. Very nice. All right. Now that pretty red, let's pull that back out again because I want to add little rosy cheeks. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. And let's go ahead and do hoot, hoot. All right. That one in green. Red and, no, the red and blue. That would be pretty. Yep, I'm pulling out the green too. May as well. I like to color the, the inside of the letters when I can. Nice. Alrighty, we are done. Put these back in their container. Whoops, how did I get an elastic up there? Silly me. Okay, so that's really cute. So that'll go on there. That's adorable, and those colors are perfect. Oh my heavens. All righty, that's great. So let's cut this little guy out. Oh, I wanted my dickles too, because that makes it easier to cut around the furry face. Anything furry.
pretty darn cute. All right, then snip these out. So tonight is my grandson's last basketball game for the year, and we're excited to go. I was going to swap scissors, but this part doesn't look too furry. It's been wonderful. It's so fun to watch him play, and, and we're really, really, really enjoying all the boys that are on the team because... We've, we're watching them grow up. And the camaraderie between the two teams, they all go to school together. And so they're constantly, you know, putting a hand out to smack each other's hand. And, and if, if anybody falls down or gets hurt or gets poked in the eye or whatever, then, then they're very, all of them, whether they're on the, the, right, the same team or not, then they all are very, very thoughtful and making sure that team that member is is okay it's really nice I really enjoy that oh that is so adorable oh my goodness that is just too cute maybe we should put it up this way or over that way oh yes like that <laughs> that is so cute all right oh my goodness that is really adorable I like that Okay, so let's curl this one now. Um, I need something that was too little. I need like a... That'll work. A water marker. Ta-da! That works. Yay! All right, so let's put some... Um... I know I had to, oh, I put it here so that I could find it easier. <laughs> oh, that's right. And these are just little ones. All right. So, do I have, yes, I do. I have foam in here. I can use this piece right here. Okay. All right. Put those away. Get my purple ones out. Pokey, pokey tool, where are you? Did I leave it out? Well, you know what? I'll have to see if I can get it with my finger. Nope, oh, use my back down. That'll work. Oh, yes, that worked. Okay. Ta da! You know, we get used to using things for certain, certain reasons. That's really cute. Oh my goodness. I do like this guy. <laughs> That's adorable. Aw. Hoot hoot. You so cute. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get a piece on here. And we can put that away. Get that exacto out. And go ahead and press that down and then put that release up. Come on, let go of the white. There you go. Awesome. This is adorable. Alrighty. Move it down a little bit. Okay. That is really cute. Aw, what do you think of that? That's a fun little word em uh, embellishment, huh? A word and a and a little image that goes along with it. And the coloring in did nice, I think. Okay, so let's get my little dots down and we can add some dots. All right, we can do two. Let's see, we'll do two here. That's pretty. And then do a batch of three. Does it need to be, oh yes it does. 
need to be trimmed on the other side too. Okay, this will be perfect. Did I get it? Yep. Alrighty. Picked that up a little bit too far. There. I like that. That's really cute. Alright, put that up in my bling container. Put my purple scissors away. Alrighty. Let me bring that up so you can see. Isn't he adorable? Or she? <laughs> That's really fun. So I hope you like this idea. Another word embellishment idea using an art trading card size. I really like that size because, as you can see, I do I do use it quite often, that size. Um, but they fit so perfectly on a card front. So, and that's pretty much all you need to slap on a card front and you're good to go. So, I like to make these up beforehand because then I'll have them. So, alrighty. So, I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.